Hello everyone. So today we will be discussing about what is foreign object in the uh, SVG, uh, what is the need of it, and we'll see it um, through the example. So first, let's understand um, the behavior of SVG when we include another XML language such as HTML. Uh, so uh, let's take an example. So let's say this is your SVG container, um, and like, and inside that you want to use an HTML. For example, let's say uh, our SVG code is like this and you want to use say uh, some text which is in the bold right this and here is your text and you close this tab okay so uh, if you use this particular HTML the resultant output won't be displaying this particular tag inside this SVG here but the structure like output structure when you will see in the inspect element would be something like this and your this b tag will be outside your svg like you will see b tag here so the resultant uh, result of this particular uh, code will be your svg remains as it is and your code will be somewhere here as the b is inline element right if there is block element you will be seeing your code here so svg doesn't allow to use another xml programming language right so let's take uh, let's check that through an example okay so this is my svg i created one polygon so resultant output is here so for polygon i have given background or a fill color as yellow right and you you see it here now and i have given the border one pixel black to my svg container so this um, tells us like what is the the boundary of your svg element so let's try to um, add the b tag here so let's say b I am bold and let's see the result you see the the result is outside our SVG container right but you have added that inside an uh, uh, SVG so this could be happening through the position as well so let's uh, understand the hierarchy of this particular uh, element do you see this SVG element is closed here but B is omitted from this SVG and thrown outside the, the SVG so to solve this particular problem right so what foreign object does is like the foreign object the svg element includes the elements from different xml namespace so if you want to add something from an html right so what you will do you will use the foreign object so let's understand like the foreign for to use the foreign object you have to use the the um, x y coordinates like from where the position is starting so i'll use same so I have copied uh, it from the code and we have to give the width. So I'll say use 100%. Okay. And now let's try to add a bold tag. And let's see the result. Do you see that particular element is getting added here. Now you can control the style sheet of, or the styles of the B by adding font size or oh, sorry. Let's say 8 pixel and you want to say sans serif or like which other font you want to give, right? So we have to give it through font family, right? Font family. Or for example, let, let's go with this. You see it, right? Your font is getting applied. Uh, now let's see if we can add um, some more properties to it. Uh, background color. Let's say red. So this is, um, this is now your HTML element you can add the properties to it um, but yeah so all all the thing all foreign object does it it allows you to use an another xml uh, namespace inside your svg which is like different xml namespace right that's it for the today's lecture thank you so much for watching